Squid is a popular ingredient for many dishes. In restaurants from all over the world, people love to order dishes with squid. However, aside from being ingredients for calamari and sashimi, what else do people really know about these sea creatures? Squids are cephalopods that inhabit waters from all over the world. They have long bodies with a distinct head shape. Like octopuses, squids also have tentacles and can squirt black ink. Of course, there is much more to squids than this description. If you're interested in knowing more about these fascinating creatures, then keep on watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more neat facts to discover the world one click at a time. Number 1. Squids first appeared during the Jurassic period. This was around 200 million years ago. However, the first ancestors of the squid first appeared 300 million years ago. This was during the Permian period. By then, the squid's ancestors diverged from the octopus's ancestors. Number 2. A number of ancient texts describe and mention the giant squid. In the 1st century BC, Pliny the Elder first described giant squids in his work The Natural History. Pliny the Elder was a Roman philosopher. In the 4th century BC, the Greek philosopher Aristotle also described the giant squid. He called it Theethus. Number 3. Since then, squids have often been mentioned in fiction as well. Some scholars believe that the giant squid inspired the legend of Medusa, one of the popular figures from Greek mythology who had snakes on her head instead of hair. Some scholars also believe that the giant squid inspired Scylla, the monster from Homer's Odyssey. The legendary kraken from Norse mythology might have also been based on the giant squid. Number 4. Squids do not have red blood. Instead, they have blue blood. Their blood contains hemocyanin, which contains copper and makes their blood blue. This differs from hemoglobin which contains iron and makes our blood red. Number 5. Squids have three hearts. Two of these hearts pump blood to and from their gills, allowing them to breathe in oxygen and dump carbon dioxide. Their third and main heart is responsible for pumping blood to the rest of the body. Number 6. Squids have the most complex nervous system among all invertebrates. Squids have a ring-shaped brain around their throat. An internal shell made from cartilage acts as a skull to protect it. Their nerves are connected to this ring-shaped brain, allowing them to control their muscles consciously. Number 7. Like chameleons, squids can change their skin color. This makes them extremely skilled at camouflage. Squids have special cells that allow them to match their skin to their surroundings. Some squids also have cells that allow them to reflect light, causing them to change the patterns of their skin every millisecond. Number 8. Some squids can generate light. Squids who live in deeper waters can even produce their own light. This also helps camouflage them from both their prey and predators because they can easily blend in with the light coming from the surface. Number 9. Some squids that do not have light generating cells can still produce light. An example is the Hawaiian bobtail squid. They have symbiotic bacterial colonies inside their bodies. These bacteria generate light for the squid. Since these colonies multiply every day, the squid expels up to 95% of these colonies every morning. This way, the squid can control the number of bacteria its body holds, as well as the amount of light they can generate. Number 10. Squids have water jets that allow them to swim at a high speed. Squids inhale water into a special cavity and expel it through a water jet. They have full control over the direction and speed as well because they can easily adjust the amount of pressure these water jets expel. Number 11. All squids can fly. Aside from swimming at high speeds, squids also use their water jets to jump out of the water. Plus, they don't just immediately dive back into the water after breaking the surface. They also use their fins to fly up to 30 meters, the same way birds use their wings to fly. Squids often do this to escape from predators. Number 12. Squids mate in a unique manner. When mating, a male and female squid will lock their jaws together. While they are positioned head-to-head -head like this, 
the male will use their tentacles to deposit their sperm into the female. The female squid can either store the sperm first or immediately let it fertilize her eggs. If it is the latter, the female will eject the eggs into the water after fertilization is complete. Number 13. A squid will only squirt ink to escape from its predators. Despite being its most well-known ability, squids will not squirt ink randomly. Instead, they only do so to escape from a predator. The ink stains the water, momentarily clouding the predator's eyesight. Number 14. Squids use their tentacles to capture their prey. Squids are fast and precise with their tentacles. Their tentacles have suction cups that allow them to wrap around their prey securely. In fact, some squid species even have hooks on their tentacles. Number 15. A squid's beak is powerful enough to punch through steel. Once a squid has a secure grip on its prey, it will use its powerful beak to kill and break the prey into small pieces. Thus, they can easily feed on larger prey as well. Some squids also have poisonous saliva, which they often use to paralyze their prey. Number 16. The average length of most squids is 60 centimeters long. However, the smallest squids only measure around 18 millimeters long. An example of this is the pygmy squid. On the other hand, the giant squid can grow up to 13 meters long. Number 17. The giant squid and the colossal squid are two different squids. Some may confuse the giant squid and the colossal squid with one another. However, they are two different species. The colossal squid only lives in the Antarctic, thus earning its nickname as the Antarctic squid. It is the heaviest squid species, as it can weigh up to 490 kilograms. On the other hand, the giant squid is a species that can be found in the North Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Ocean. While they are longer than most colossal squid, they often weigh lighter at around 275 kilograms only. Number 18. In the 1980s, humans began catching colossal squids. In 1981, Soviets caught an immature female colossal squid that measured over 4 meters long. In 1984, another colossal squid was caught. It measured 6 meters long. While scientists and fishermen alike continued to try, there were no successful catches until the year 2005, when scientists caught another colossal squid that measured 4.8 meters long. Number 19. By the 2000s, humans were able to take their first pictures of the giant squid. Scientists filmed Larva, a living giant squid from the wild, in 2001. In 2002, fishermen were able to catch and photograph a 2-meter-long giant squid in Kyotango, Japan. In 2004, Japanese scientists caught a giant squid by hooking its tentacles. They took 500 pictures of the squid before it managed to break free by tearing its tentacle off. Number 20. Fishermen caught the heaviest squid known. In New Zealand, fishermen caught a colossal squid that weighed 495 kilograms. This squid had tentacle rings the size of car tires. Number 21. Every year, fishermen catch around 2.9 million tons of squid. The most common squid catch is Argentine short fin squid, which fishermen catch around 511,000 tons every year. On the other hand, the longfin inshore squid is the least common catch, with only 17,000 tons caught every year. Number 22. In the animal kingdom, the squid is a popular prey for many. 96% of the elephant seal's diet is the squid. Sperm whales also favor the squid. In a single day, a single sperm whale can eat up to 800 squids. Number 23. Squids contain the protein tropomyosin. Tropomyosin is the protein that makes some people allergic to squid. This is the same allergen found in other shellfish like clams and oysters. Number 24. For those who aren't allergic, squids can provide plenty of nutrition. A squid's mass is 80% protein with less than 20% fat. The little fat that a squid does contain is low saturated content, which means it is made up of healthy fatty acids such as omega-3. Squid is also rich in phosphorus, calcium, and certain B vitamins. Number 25. Squid is a popular dish in Chinese and Japanese cuisine. In China, squid is a popular star ingredient in many dishes. They serve squid with noodles, 
rice, or stir fries. In Japan, squid is featured in numerous seafood dishes. Some examples are squid sashimi, grilled squid, and the snack, dried shredded squid. Number 26. In Korean cuisine, there are also different ways to prepare squid. One sample dish is san o jingo, which is a dish that features fresh squid and octopus wrapped in lettuce. Aside from this, squid is also used as an ingredient for pancakes and soups. Traditional recipes also feature boiled or steamed squid. Dried squid is also a popular snack when drinking alcohol. Number 27. In Russia, they also have their own ways of cooking squid. To prepare the squid, they cut it into long thin strips, then they lightly boil it before serving it as a salad. Another popular squid dish from Russia is roasting squid that is stuffed with rice and vegetables. Number 28. Squid makes up a large part of Mediterranean cuisine. In Greek and Turkish cuisines, they favor stewing squid with squash, tomato, and other vegetables. As for Spanish and Italian cuisines, they often feature squid in recipes for paella and risotto. Some more examples of Spanish dishes are puntilitas, calamares, and sutinta, and calamari. Number 29. The term calamari comes from the Latin word calamarius. Some believe that calamari comes from the Italian calamaro. Some also argue that it comes from the Spanish word calamar. Others say that the Greek word calamari is the true origin. However, scholars argue that all these words can be traced back to calamarius, which is a Latin word that means writing reed. This is likely a reference to the squid's body shape as well as its black ink. Number 30. Scientists study the characteristics of squids to apply in their respective fields. For example, Bristol University scientists study the squid's skin and its ability to change color. Another example is Otto Schmidt, an American engineer. He studied the giant squid's nervous systems in order to develop the Schmidt trigger for function generators. There is no doubt that squids are fascinating creatures. You can find them in the wild, in fiction, and in different cuisines. In different sciences too, they play key roles. These are all reasons to protect squids, and the best way to do so is to keep their habitats clean and safe for them to keep swimming in. Hopefully these 30 facts about squids can inspire many to protect these curious sea creatures. If you enjoyed our video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more facts videos.